Well, hello, my friends. Ruben Obed here, transmitting live from GP Music Group Studios in Dorado, Puerto Rico. And I'm up here on my roof um, because I want to share with you guys my DIY solar project, solar array, okay? Um, this is an array that I've been building since uh, after Hurricane Maria and you know it's taken it, you know it's, it's taken a little bit of time but it's getting done so let me share this with you guys all right as you can see here <clears throat> this is my array and it consists of 16 30 watt solar panels purchased from Mighty Max Solar online now when I say 16 I'm not talking about those two those two are from China those are 30 watt panels that I have for separate battery but I'm focusing on these black ones all right each of them are 30 watts I have them all running into this combiner box this is a DIY combiner box but as you can see I have them all in parallel okay they're the same exact panels all right totaling at the moment 480 watts now the way I have them hooked up is I have them laying on concrete blocks all right just to give them something you know and they're at a 18 degrees angle you know here in Puerto Rico we're at 18 degrees latitude so it should be actually a little flatter all right and I have them zip tied also as well to this steel tubing and they're zip tied with um, uh, uh, nylon and steel zip ties okay so at the moment that's how they're locked in place but they're really secure you know and I have the cables tucked away you notice over here this is lifted up a little bit it's because the cables are underneath um, but the reason I'm doing it this way is because if you notice right now these panels are actually facing north now today is kind of cloudy but they're facing north because the Sun generally rises here in the east and mid noon it's like right above me you know now what's strange is that what happens in the winter what happens in the winter is that the Sun here in you know switches sides so it's summer so once it's winter I will be um, taking the solar panels and um, you know put them you know put them uh, facing south so that is my solar array okay so that's 480 watts the brand the brand is mighty max solar you can find them on eBay and you get free shipping on these priority you know I always said a watt is a watt that's my philosophy a watt is a watt so if I would have bought a 120 watt panel it would have cost me about hundred and twenty dollars hundred thirty plus shipping to Puerto Rico would have been another fifty sixty bucks it's not really worth it so you know I got smaller panels I had an, I have enough <laughs> space here to you know fit many of them so you know that's that's the plan that's what I've been doing now I'm gonna take you guys downstairs. I'm gonna show you the power bank. Oh, and to the people who may want to know, um, this system is generally peaking at 20. I got about maybe the highest I've seen is 22 amps. You know, so it's it's pretty good in terms of you know how fast it charges the power bank and the battery bank. So let's go straight downstairs and um and I'll show you guys that. In fact, I'm not, I'm gonna try to make this a straight cut. You know, so I don't have to. Cut the camera. I'm just walking down these steps. So we're doing some. Just built these steps yesterday. So I've <laughs> been, been kind of busy working and doing things. Anyway, so I'm going inside the house now, and um, I'm going to show you guys the power bank. Now the power bank. Here, here go my generators. You got to have some generators too. You know, just in case you don't got no power. You know, and in case the sun doesn't come out. You know, you never know. So let me walk over here and let me turn this TV off so you guys can hear me. All right. So now onto the power bank. All right. This is the battery bank. Right now, let me move this stuff out of the way so it won't look so damn messy. 
but that is my battery bank all right I'm I'm running an EP ever 30 amp charge controller six deep cycle marine batteries with four gauge cable they're all in parallel the 12 volt system it's got a 100 amp fuse a cutoff blade switch all right and it's running off of this 750 watt inverter this 420 watt inverter is running off of this battery right here this is a 121 amp hour deep cycle marine battery so it's I have these two separate systems but the one that is getting charged by the solar array on top will, would be these six deep cycle batteries okay so now right now my MT50 is showing you alright batteries are fully topped off you know 20 volts okay now what happens is this I have that set up with there but I have this Schumacher 40 amp charger so this right now is on maintain mode and it's as you can see it's clipped onto here this is not charging this is simply maintaining it so it can be left on 24 7 but you got to make sure that your charger is microprocessor controlled you know so you can't put a dumb charger and just leave it there so these six batteries are on the maintainer they're on you know the solar system they're getting charged this one is also charged by the other two solar panels that you saw on the roof the little cheap China ones and this charger here is maintaining this one these this is also a maintainer now this is a little autocraft little um, lawn and garden battery I, I have this hooked up to a UPS just to run a couple of lights and a couple of knickknacks but this charges batteries too so this is topped off all right there I got a little charge controller it's at 13.3 you know and right here over here that is just a regular car battery okay it's at 12.9 I hardly use it for anything it has a little inverter connected there and I use it basically to run this little fan <laughs> and that one as well is on a maintainer which would be that one all right I don't know how well you guys can see that there but and that's at 13.2 so this one is maintaining the car battery you know and basically that is that is my solar system my solar array you know so it can be done guys you know um, I know a lot of people especially there's a lot of what I call solar Nazis out there who probably won't like this video probably say oh well, you have cheap components or what not whatever who cares man the reality is I have a solar system it's it works I built it I'm proud of it I know how it works I know its strengths I know it I know its weaknesses but I know one thing if we get another hurricane I'll have power and that's the important thing about this guys you know so maybe in the future right I will maybe upgrade get good you know uh, Trojan batteries six you know six uh, volt and and you know upgrade my system but at the present time you know this is my system and if you want to build a system like that you know start buying you know parts little by little I have so far invested between all my solar panels all my batteries and the charge controller and and MT50 and this plus the two generators um I would say maybe like about twenty-eight hundred dollars maybe three thousand give or take but it's not that much and it's a pretty good system you know giving me charging up at 20 20 amps you know and which is pretty good man <laughs> considering it's coming from the sun it's free so guys if you got any questions um if you would like to see anything if i was helpful or i gave you some ideas hey please you know give leave it in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys Take care. God bless. Ruben Obed.